Hello everybody, welcome back. Now we've got a bit of an update going on now. Um, as you regular guys would have known that uh, back on the 10th of September, our Heteroscoda maculata, the Starburst baboon, had a successful egg sac, which hatched inside the tank and was an absolute mare trying to get all the babies out. So, well, believe it or not, it's now the 10th of January. She's had a second sack, which was laid about a month ago. And um, it is just on the point of hatching now. So I figured it's time that um, we caught her up and uh, remove this sack before they disperse all over the bleeding place. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little look at it in there. That is what it is. Now, as you'll see there with the, um, with the maculatas, the baboons, they actually um, fix their egg sac to the back of the bark and then they look after it. So they, call, they, they seal it up in what, what we call a hammock and um, she will look after that and she'll protect it. Now, interestingly enough, this last couple of weeks, she has been seen outside of an evening uh, on three or four occasions now where she's left the egg sac, come out, got a drink, had a little mooch around, she's probably a bit hungry. And um, yeah, she's, she's been out and about. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna attempt to uh, catch her. Now, as you know, these guys have got a bit of a reputation, but last time when we dealt with her, she was fairly well behaved. So what we're gonna do now, might wanna come and see you around the side here. And we're gonna peel this back. She's actually got her back to us at the moment. So we're just gonna peel this back. Now bear in mind, this is a, a mother spider with her egg sac. So she's likely to be a little bit defensive. She's not really gonna wanna share this. You can see it really well now. So we're going to still keep trying to peel this back. Um, I would rather be able to get it out a little bit more. We don't want to spook her. I need to try and turn this piece of wood. Okay. I think we're just going to have to go with it as it is. Got our catch cup here just in case. And see what we're doing now is we're just trying to lay the bark over and that's as far as it's going to move. So now hopefully, got a good angle there. Hopefully we're um, the babies are going to stay put. We've just caught them in time with any luck. So here we go, we're going to just put our box over the top like this, nice and gentle. She hasn't moved yet, here we go, babies are out. Yeah, the babies are out. Have we caught it in time? Try and walk her up. There we go. Gently does it. We don't want to upset her. Look at that. And there we have it. As you can see there, even though she's had a second clutch, she's still in very good condition. Her abdomen is still looking absolutely superb. Now we've already got a new enclosure made up for her. This 
is her new home. She's going into one of our bioactive setups because as you'll appreciate, the maculatas do, do enjoy a little bit of um, humidity. So we've got this one all ready for her. And we'll see now if we can't get her to just walk out onto the, onto the branch. Nice and gently does it. Here we go. Isn't she a stunning spider? Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. There she comes. She is beautiful. As you saw there, once again, we have had no aggression. Take it nice and steady. Don't upset them. All she wants to do is hide away. So we'll close that up. She's done a wonderful job. Now then. Now the fun begins. Right. It's looking like... These guys have pretty much here we go. There is a couple loose on the floor of the enclosure. So what we're gonna do We've got this simple tub here made up and the plan is there you go you can see them all now and the plan is is to try and get these off of here without them all breaking out and disappearing. Which might be easier said than done. And unfortunately I can't get the log inside there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to lift this up in one. Well, I think we might. Now, what you've got with this, with the web in here, you might be able to come and have a little look. Is you've got a thick mat in there, which is where all your spiderlings are hiding. So it's like a cocoon. And what we're doing now is we're taking away the, the stuff that's underneath. So hopefully we can pick the sack up. We don't want to squeeze it too much. There we go, look, they're all in there. Isn't that marvellous? You can see a little one there where they've started to slough out. See a tiny little slough there. Isn't that amazing? Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop that into the nursery tank, just like so. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try and flick these guys off. Back onto their web. Get back on your web, little guy. See, normally with these, you touch them and they jump straight away. See, they're just leaping off. The interesting thing is you don't always see them. They're such tiny little things. Another one gone.
as you can see now this is why we wanted to move them on before they hatch out like last time because they literally caused us no end of trouble last time I think oh, another one there another one they're very very hardy at this stage in terms of uh, they bounce well there's one in there he don't want to come out just yet there we go poke him out that way there he goes Yeah. Right, I think there is going to be a couple more hidden away in here, I'm sure. There's a couple. about it right then so what we'll do is we'll pop this back in here and we shall just keep an eye on this now and see what what appears over the next few days but I think we've got the vast majority of them now um, this is by far the best way to move these little guys we pretty much managed to move a whole egg sack in one lump which is um, far better than chasing the little guys around they're amazing little things aren't they really good size so this will be their nursery home and that's just damp soil in there and we just keep it keep it shut down they don't need to worry about any airflow and things like that we want them to stay fairly humid and then they'll slough out and we'll keep them like this for a little while now and we'll just feed them in here um, we'll start feeding these on fruit flies and then as they grow we'll start to separate them and uh, play around with them so these will be available if anyone's interested we've always got plenty of hmacs <laughs> i think we've still got some left from the first one so um yes so there you go so that we've we've done a nice little uh, rehouse there removed mum from her babies and we've got all our babies in here and it wasn't too bad at all Camera lady's been got a big sigh of relief because last time she spent the whole afternoon chasing them around the tank. So we've saved her a job. We're good. <laughs> right then. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you soon, guys. <laughs>